bulletproof plates for your kids' backpacks. First of all, not a topic I'm excited to be talking about, but one that I want to hit from a couple of different angles. First of all, if you've watched the channel, I'm starting to put a little bit more of my beliefs in here. Uh, not that I've ever been ashamed of my beliefs, I simply am finding them to make more sense now than ever before. As the world gets crazier, as people lose their freaking minds, as we watch people get meaner, we watch a lot of people get nastier. Uh, you know, when somebody walks into a place and they're smiling, um, it's not the norm anymore. Like people are usually a little bit on guard on offense, more so than they used to be. But um, in the Bible, 2 Timothy 1 7 says, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. And I used to, I used to really not completely under, understand it, but I want to talk to you about the bulletproof plates as they relate to your kids, and I want to talk to you as you relate to your kids about this type of thing. First of all, it's still more dangerous riding a school bus to school in the morning um, than it is going to school. It's more dangerous riding in the car going from your house to the bus stop or from your house to, to school. Um, there's a lot of things that are a lot more concerning than your kids going to school. So as you talk to your kids about this, please put it into perspective. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to show you, look, I'm going to show you what I believe is reasonable for kids to do. But when you have the discussion with your kids, especially parents that are hypervigilant, and I, a lot of times I meet hypervigilant, no offense to sexes at all. I still use normal pronouns, man, woman. I will always use those. Um, but women tend to be a little more, not all, okay, tend to be a little more at times hypervigilant when it comes to making sure that their kids are safe. Men tend not to be the warriors quite as much. Um, and there's nothing wrong with either one. I mean, we're, we're built differently for the most part. Um, but where fear exists, a sound mind cannot exist. So it's reasonable to take practical steps towards safety. It's reasonable to take practical steps, steps towards protecting yourself, your family, your house, your kids at school. I mean, that's why we wear a seatbelt, right? We wear a seatbelt going from the house to school. If, if they ride the bus, they don't wear a seatbelt, which is, I think they've actually started putting seatbelts on a lot of buses. But where fear exists, a sound mind cannot exist. So check yourself before you talk with your kids about this. Because listen, you don't want to instill fear in your kids when they're going to school. You want to be fearful of being in school and around their kids. I mean, around other kids. Um, yes, do we need to take practical steps to secure schools? Yes. Matter of fact, uh, I will put a link below. We have a, a 335-page report done by Governor Scott's office from Florida after the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas shooting. It's a wonderful, practical um, synopsis of what needs to be done in schools to protect schools, but I don't want to get too far off track. And I'll, I'll put that link below so you can go to our website and download it for free. Um, but when you're taking practical steps to protect your kids, make sure that there's no fear there. Tell them, hey, we're going to do this because it's, you know, a potential, but it's likely never, ever going to ever happen. You actually are more in danger being in the, being in the car more children die falling downstairs, falling out of the bed, and drowning in pools than there will ever be shot at school. So, as a matter of fact, one of the number one killers in the household, in any household of small children, is still chemicals underneath the sink, Clorox and those types of things. So let's try to keep, oh, in this crazy world, let's try to keep a really good perspective, try to keep a godly perspective, try to not live in fear. But I'm going to give you... So I'm not going to bring out all the uh, examples of bulletproof plates. We have a lot in here. I'm only going to share the two that a lot of parents are starting to get for their kids. First of all, if you buy bulletproof plates, make sure that they are NIJ certified and made in America. You can get cheaper plates online. They're out there. As a matter of fact, if you've talked about bulletproof plates in front of your phone or in front of Siri or Alexa, they may have popped up in the advertisement in your feed. There's a reason why that happens, people. Watch my other video on your uh, digital signatures and why things are being stolen. That's a whole other topic. However, make sure that they are American-made and NIJ certified. You never want to have to call out a warranty on this thing, right? 
go back to the manufacturer and say, it didn't work. The bulletproof plate didn't work. Don't save 20 bucks or 30 bucks or cut it in half and buy it from China. Um, by American made NIJ certified. NIJ certified means it has gone through very stringent testing in the United States to say what this thing will stop, okay? Um, and, I, and I do not think it's practical to do some things for kids, okay? Sending your kids to school with something that is not enough protection is foolish and sending them to school with something that has armor piercing rifle military grade weaponry protection is probably not practical either consider yourself maybe hyper vigilant if you're wanting to do that this is a level 3a this is let me get my glasses on because i'm a little bit blind this is made by a company out of california yes california still manufactures good things and thank god for those of you in california who are pro second amendment pro constitutional i appreciate you but this is a level 3A. Um, it's got a five-year warranty. They have to have an expiration date on them. The materials in here really don't degrade. It's gonna last longer than five years. But it is a level 3A NIJ certified. It has the date of manufacture. I'll do this. It has the date of manufacture on here. Uh, period is for five years. And it is tested in accordance with NIJ standards. And then here it even shows where it's manufactured. You will see a lot of things online that say ship from the U.S. Don't be fooled. It doesn't mean they're made in the U.S. You want to be able to go back to a manufacturer that has NIJ standards and NIJ certification so you know that this will stand up to a 44 Magnum. Okay? Now, well, two things. Let me do this as well. This is for really, this is actually made for a, this is a shooter's cut plate. It's made for a shooter's vest, okay? This is not made for backpacks. However, smaller children's backpacks, like grade school and below, this will fit in their backpacks. It's the same width as this plate that is made for backpack, for large backpacks. This will be too large for small children. This will fit in a small child's backpack very easily, in the back of it. This is an 18 inch cut. If you can see, it's rounded edges. This is made more for a full-size backpack, yes. I'll put a link below to some of the backpacks we have that this fits inside of. This is made to cover more area on a child's or a fully grown child's or adolescent's back. And again, you don't want it to fail. If it fails, it's too late. You know this was manufactured in the US. Voodoo Tactical, I know who makes theirs. They are a military contract that has very strict safety standards. So if you're gonna get something for your child for a backpack, small child, grade school, elementary age, the smaller backpacks are what you're gonna want. The other ones are too big. And then this one here, ah, they're all gonna fall off now. This one here will fit in a full size backpack. Let me tell you the problem with the level fours and the three maxes. Um, they're usually, not usually, they're all made of a little bit different material. Usually one of two, like some polycarbonates uh, along with some steel. They get very heavy. About the minimum you find in the larger plates or the plates that have a rifle rating is about four pounds. Uh, and if you, you can't find them in 18 inches, you cannot find that I found. If you, if you can find them, please post them below. I would love to let people know where they are. But the full size hard plates, are an anomaly. They're, I don't, I've never seen them. And they're very heavy and they're impractical. They're all so thick. If you, get a, if you had a steel plate, level four plate that was this big, or a level three plate that was this large, you're looking at having about a 10 to, four, 10 to 14 pound plate. The ones that are this size are eight pounds, the steel plates are. The ones that are this size that are polycarbonate, polyethylenes, uh, in a combination thereof, those plates um, run about four pounds. So if you're looking for something for a backpack for a child, do a couple things. Make sure that it's made in the USA. Make sure that it's NIJ certified. Make sure that it will fit in the size backpack that they have. 10 by 14 or 18 inch, 18 inches for a larger child. And then again, when you're having the discussion with your child, 
about going to school, just remember, children look at fear differently than we do. We don't want to instill fear. We do want people to be safe. Um, and I go back to 2 Timothy 1, 7. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. And if you're operating out of fear, that means you're not having a sound mind about how to address the situation. Hey, please like and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. It's very important. We are getting ready. We're still a family-owned business. We're getting ready to start doing some things that will ask you to support us online because we're going to bring some topics forward that are just very um, unpopular with the rest of the world. And the only way that we know we can stay in business, the only way that we know that we can exist is by support from people like you. Yes, we do want your help. I'll give you a link to these as well. Um, and please, don't forget, thumbs up and uh, like and subscribe.